Hi guys, and thank you for seeing today I'm bringing you episode number 5 of season 3 of my road to prestige on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, if you have been tuning into the last few episodes, you will know that they've all been recorded at the same day, which is the 6th of July in the morning. It's currently 6 minutes past 5, so I can't be too loud. My parents are actually back from holiday now as well, so they're sleeping. To rest in peace, that is. But, you'll also know if you haven't watched me, I've literally had nothing to talk about pretty much throughout the whole few videos. But this video, I've made myself a little uh, list to talk about, to do with Arsenal again. Um, I'm pretty sure I did one on starting the level before, but I'm doing a little bit about it now here as well. Starting 11, I want to see from a 4 2 3 1. Check Monreal because he only chambers. I want to give him a run for his money in the centre back. See how he is there. Um, Assisted sprint online. Uh, Bellerin, Kazola in the uh, left central defensive mid. Granit Xhaka in our CDM. Alexis in the left mid. Cam for Ozil. Right mid, we got Theo Walcott and Striker, we got Lacazette. Now I've put some subs in for some of the positions. I might, I'm not going to do it for all. So instead of checking goal if we get wounded, we've got she um, Chesney. Chesney. In left back, we have obviously got Kieran Gibbs as a replacement. Left centre back, we've got Gabriel. Not really that good to be honest. Right centre back, we've got Murta Saka. And in right back, we've obviously got Jabuchi and Cole Jenkinson. I'm going to put Jenkins in there just because he's younger. For like 10 years, pretty much. Instead of Kazola and uh, CDM, or left central defensive mid, we've got old Naomi. And then our centre, we've got right centre defensive, right centre defensive mid. We have got Coughlin. I have put, even though I have Kasora in um, left centre defensive mid in the first team, I've decided to put him in the left mid because that's his natural position. He used to play there all the time. Because I can't really remember anyone else who can play there. See, Theo Walker can, but we don't actually have another player for there. So I put Kazola back there. Granite Xhaka in Cam, because he's, got the same, he's, he's a playmaker like with Ozil. Um, we've got Alex Wobie on the right, fantastic player. Proved himself. And on striker, we've obviously got Giroud. I would put Welbeck there, but he's injured for 9 months, probably around 8 or 7 or 8 months now. So that's going to have to be Giroud. They're the two starting lineups, so I'd have to call them one replacement. Obviously, if we are playing in that Capital One Cup, I'd like to see the likes of Jeff Rayne, Adelaide, Dan Crowd, and I know he's on the line, actually, Dan Crowley. Um, who else have we got? Jeff Rayne and Alex Wobie. Um, Tuba Rat for me, can start playing again if he wanted to. But anyway, some more little stats here. I did mention some stats in the last video for the season just gone, but I want to see these things in the upcoming season. Top goal scorer for Arsenal, I want to see it in, like, in all competitions. Alexandra Lacazette, when he signs, if he does, with 32, uh, minimum of 32 goals. Fire up with that, we've got Alexis Sanchez with around about 22 goals. Top assist for Arsenal in all competitions, I think it was around 23. Would put that higher, but one up is Danny Xhaka with around 16. Because Xhaka will still be the assists, because they're both good. Now clean sheets up a check, up the top of 25, it's been on this side. I know even though I've got Chesney nice. as a second keeper, it does look quite solid for him to be on back on my own diet. Roma, so I'm not too sure. Predicted placements here. Alright, so the Premier League FA Cup, Capital 1 and Champions League, and you're definitely gonna think I'm a bit mental. I've put us first and the champions of Premier League. I've put us as the winners of the FA Cup again, that one might not be come to too many. Capital 1 Cup, I've done the traditional round 4 exit, because we never win the competition. Champions League, this is the one that's going to shock everyone, I put semi-finals in here. So in other words, we'll reach the semi-finals and get taken out by Bayern like, by Munich or something like that. Now let me put my reasoning behind this. The reason I put it as um, the semi-finals is because um, if we do something like a bet, he's going to get some goals and he's going to be fantastic in the Champions League. So that'd be brilliant. I'm sure that's just going to be very, very quiet, so I'm going to have to move my mic forward. But yeah, that's the uh, predicted placements. I did predict us to hit the double, which is obviously the champ, yeah, the Premier League and the FA Cup. Threat. Current signings we have is Granit Xhaka, who's a midfielder, and Takuma Asano, which is a striker. And for the future, though, 
Our rumours, we've got Lacazette, Lukaku, Morata, Aubameyang, Higuain and, and Higuain who are all strikers. You can also add Mares and Royce to the forwards. Um, and we've got Sabatic which is a centre back and Ricardo Rodriguez which is a left back. Both of Bundesliga and them too. So they're the rumours we have been linked to. We was linked to someone else like Soleimani but I didn't know what position he was so I just ignored it. Plus I've never really heard of him so yeah. So that's pretty much that. That's literally everything I wrote down. I expected that to be a lot longer talking but obviously not. I'm sorry if this comment she has been quiet but I don't know because they're both at home now and I'm trying not to wake him up. And I normally don't talk this quietly anyway if when they are in but just to make sure they've just got back and might need a good sleep in their own bed for once. Being a bit considerate for once. I'm joking. But yeah, this first game is on Stronghold. I actually hit this gameplay quite a few days quite a few days ago to be honest. It's not very good at all to be honest, but I hit it because I was trying to go for the daily challenge which I didn't end up getting so I had like twenty five minutes to get ten thousand score. I was doing one game late, played two other games, I think I had like eight thousand score in the end. And the the last game I took, which is the second one no actually. Is the second one combined? Yeah, second one combined. That game took fucking forever, so as soon as I got out of the game it was one second to the next set of challenges so I couldn't do anything so close but not enough time should have done it a lot quicker but nice lovely getting stuck around the table yeah. I'm just going to do a bit of commentary I know it's only halfway through the video but I've got nothing else to talk about when this goes up probably around about half past six in the morning or in other words when it actually goes published on YouTube that'll be at 12pm on Wednesday the 13th I was soon to be hang on in my random class generator, number 10, or maybe even, sorry, on Sunday the 10th or the 12th, or Tuesday the 12th, there may be some more transfer news for the 6th of July, so stay tuned for that. Also, when this video goes up, when, whatever that is, Wednesday the 13th, be, stay tuned for The Walking Dead, later today at 4. Show me some support on that, I'm, yet, I'm still going to actually go look at the support I've had on it. I haven't actually checked and my FIFA career mode. So anyway, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment and subscribe, suggestions down below and I'll see you next time on my channel later today. So, see you later and have a nice day. Enemy down. I'm all in. Kinetic armor ready.
Threat neutralized. Vision pulse online. No. Drop them. Target down. Jack could not. Overdrive charged. Tango down. Hostile Hellstorm inbound. Get down. Infantry neutralized. inbound. Kinetic armor. Ah. Competition eliminated. Guardian deployed. They're off dead. That's a kill. Ruin down. Overdrive down. Dead. <laughs> 